In this video, we will solve a complex SQL interview question. The question is, create a fixture such that each team play with every other team only once. That is the first question. And the second question is, create another fixture where each team play with every other team twice. So for that, I have created a table. The table is called as team table and it has got two columns. The first column is team code and the second column is team name. So based on this table, we have to create a new table that is a fixture table where each team play with every other team once. That is the first part. And in the second part, each team play with every other team twice. That is the second part. So we have to write a query to get that fixture. First, when I read the question, the initial thought that came to my mind was, let me do a cross join. But cross join will not work here. Let us see why that is not working first. Because I think most of the people will be going for cross join approach when we hear about this question. Please select star from team underscore table. Let this be the first table and we'll do a cross join, cross join, same table, E2. Now execute and we will get an output. But the question is, each team play with every other team only once. But once we inspect this table, we can see that the first record, India is playing with the same team called that is India that will not happen that is the first condition which does not satisfy when using cross join and the second condition is australia is playing with india that is a valid condition but when we come down we can see that there will be a second record where india and australia are again playing so this is another violation of our condition our answer should contain a fixture where each team will play with every other team only once. That is, India and Australia combination should appear only once in the output. Similarly, every other combination should appear only once in our output. And a team, team should not play with the same team also. So that is the condition we have to satisfy when writing the query. For that, let us start writing the query. So cross join will not work. Let us comment this out. So we'll start with a select cross. Select. We will take the team code only because both team code and team names are unique. So we'll take team code only to create the fixture. So team code. We want team code. Now after this team code, we will use the row number function to provide a unique ID for the team codes. Row number and over. We don't want any partition here. Just a order by close. Order by team code only whatever be the order it does not matter here the only thing is that we have to provide a unique id to each of the team code this is the uh, unique id column so let us give the name as id only and this is taken from the team underscore table now execute this and we will get a new column along with team code where each team code has been assigned an ID. So this is the first part. Now let us put this inside a CTE. Put this inside a CTE with team as, let us name the CTE as team. Now coming down, we will create a join between team and the same team. That is kind of a self join. Select from team that is the first table now join again team is joined and we will give an alias name to both the tables so we can distinguish the tables easily so the first team can be named as team only the second can be named as opponent opponent and the join condition is on Team dot ID greater than opponent dot ID. 
so this is the join condition and now in the output we require two columns that is the team code from the team table and team code from the opponent table sorry opponent dot team underscore code so these are the two codes which we require in our output now we have completed our query uh, but before running the query let us rename this columns once again so this is team one and the team code from second opponent table let us name as team two now execute this the number of records in our output should be 10 and let us see what happens now we have an output where we can see that every team is playing with every other team only once so england and australia is playing one game and again if we check the entire table we will not be able to find any record where the same combination is repeating similarly india and australia is playing one game and again india, is, india and australia are not playing any game in the same tournament so we have successfully created a fixture where we satisfied our condition that is each team play with every other team only once now let us move on to the second part that is each team play with every other team twice so from this output only we will get to know that so every each team play with every other team only once we have 10 records in our output so when each team play with every other team twice the number of records in our output will be 20 this is just to just for a quick validation other than that uh, this explanation regarding the number of records does not imply anything this is only for quick validation now coming to second part let us copy this entire query because we are going to make only one small change and we will get the output now we have the same cte where we created an id based on the raw number function and we have created a self join with the cte table which we created that is the team and we have created a non equi join that is team dot id greater than opponent dot id now we are going to make a small change in this join condition and we will get the required output for the second part so instead of this greater than we will write not equal to during that time each record from the team table will join with every other record other than the same record so execute this and we can see that we have a new fixture where each team is playing with every other team twice so we can see that the first record is england australia again coming down we'll be able to find one more record where england australia is repeating let us check that this is australia england is again repeating that is they are playing twice similarly india and australia and coming down we can see that india and australia are playing again so in this fixture every team is playing with every other team twice so we have successfully created our output this is a tricky question and this can be asked in interviews and i have seen this is a very common question because it will initially mislead us and will make us tell the answer as cross join i hope this video was helpful if you like this video subscribe our channel thank you